Hey everybody, it's Ashley. Um, I was going to just show you some of my fall decor. Um, I feel like this is kind of like vlog style, I guess you could say, but um, I was just gonna show you some of my fall items that I have out in my house. Um, starting out, this is just our entryway. Um, and you can see my angel wings in the back. And I have it pretty simple right now. I, um, I wanna add some more art on either side at some point. But um, anyway, just as far as fall items go, this is an arrangement that I made um, just from elements from Hobby Lobby. Um, and no rhyme or reason, I just kind of went for the, you know, I knew kind of the shape I was looking for. And so I just kind of filled in with different um, like this is a spray, this is a different spray, this is a different one. Like you just kind of fill in um, different ones for the shape that you're wanting. So this is my fall arrangement. I have a summer one, spring and summer one as well. Um, and then of course I'll change this over to Christmas. And this is not fall, but it's like super cute in my opinion. Um, this is... I mentioned this in my favorites, but to all who come to this happy place, welcome. And I just added it to my entry table because I think it's appropriate to have there. Because I think our home's a happy place. So there's the entry table. Okay, here's our living room for fall. And long story short yes these are two different chairs that is look that is a story for another day um i've been through i cannot even tell you trying to get all that worked out that's okay um so yes those are those are two different chairs they will be the same hopefully not too long from now um that's being worked out anyway um here is what we've done for fall um my sofa for the longest it's from Ballard Designs. And again, that's kind of part of the saga. I won't get into that. I just put these um, new slip covers on like yesterday. So they're still wrinkled at the bottom. Um, but I'm getting sidetracked. Fall. Okay. Um, so the, this slip cover just came. I was in Target and I happened to see these two uh, plaid pillows and I just loved it. Um, I love the idea of kind of changing out your pillows for the seasons and these are really soft and that they're, they're heavy like they have a lot of weight to them but they're like a blanket material and um the little pumpkin one is from the company chandler four corners and it's a really really nice quality um pillow i want to say like it's a hook pillow i don't know what the actual phrase is but um I have some as well for Christmas and I'm kind of in the process over the years of slowly collecting these because they're they're so um, to me tr just timeless and they'll last me literally my whole life so anyway they are an investment but I really really love them I just budget every now and then for them um, and then I'll get to that back table in a minute because that's I know that's ugly but whatever um, so this table of course my sweet little kids I actually I, I gotta show you something really funny here in a minute but um this is our table we do not have a mantle um, in this house it's like one of my <laughs> uh, like when we looked at the house I didn't initially realize I don't know how I didn't realize this but that it didn't have a fireplace and then um, obviously like we came to look a second time and I was like, wait a minute, there's no fireplace. Oh, and I just, I miss one so bad, but, um, I thought there was a little kid up there. No, that's just a costume. Okay. Um, so anyway, this kind of, this area kind of acts like to me, like a fireplace wall or mantle wood. Um, and so I just use this table, like at Christmas, I hang my stockings from the edge of this table. I have little, um, stocking hooks that, that edge on, that, you know, hook on to the edge of the table. I'm getting into way too much detail. Anyway, I'm just explaining that <laughs> this area is how I would treat a mantle. Um, and so I have a garland here. This one, is from Grandin Road. Um, it's like a catalog um, 
internet company. And so I, I bought this, gosh, like three years ago. And again, the quality, I really do focus on quality. Um, of course, I love to get my little things from Hobby Lobby, which I'll show you in a minute, um, that are less expensive. And they do hold up pretty well. I like Hobby Lobby a lot. But um, as far as artificial um, plants, garlands, and everything, I really do try to get high quality. So it'll last me a long time. And I wait until I find something that I really love. Um, I love the ribbon on this garland and just the colors are really rich to me. Um, and it's not your typical like bright orange and you know, it's just a softer look and I really like the plaid ribbon. Um, of course, I've got my Bath and Body Works candle going. This is leaves and I have a candle going literally all the time in my house. Um, it's just my thing. I love the look of candlelight and I of course love the smell. So that's that one that I have burning. And then over this way is our love seat. And I have to say that Evie, my six year old, she arranged the blanket. I put her in charge of decorating the love seat. And so she came up with uh, putting the blanket like this. I got the blanket at Target just the other day. Um, again, these are two different Chandler uh, Four Corners pillows. And um, this background, it's, it said it was black um in the write-up online but it's really more of a charcoal this is a true black the candy corn um but you know i think they go cute together and i kind of bought the candy corn with halloween in mind but it was so cute we went ahead and set it out so um she did a great job i think with the love seat and then little paddington came home with us from london and I'm going to share a souvenir haul. I don't even like that word haul, but I'll share like a souvenir video of what we brought home. Um, but this is his home right now. He's perched on this table and it's just so cute because like whenever I'm sitting in my chair across the room, um, it's cute to see Paddington there. Um, so the, I have a, you know, clock of course. This is me um, the day that we received Liam's file for referral. And that's one of my favorite pictures in the world. Um, and so I have that framed there and I added the little bless our family, um, figure that's from Hobby Lobby. I added that this year. So that's really, really cute. Oh, Evie drew a little picture. Let me see if I, I mean, this is turning into like show my kids life, but anyway, um, I don't know if you can see, I think that was me and her that she drew if I'm remembering correctly. So sweet. Um, so that's our little side table. And then on our TV armoire, um, I added these little jack lanterns. Kurt got these for the kids last year and they are in batteries, they'll glow. Um, but I don't know, they always just seem to kind of cause um, little arguments, you know, about whose was whose and all that. And so I just decided to turn them into <laughs> home decor. <laughs> so I think they look really cute. It just kind of brightens up that area. I think it's cute. Um, okay, so this is what I wanted to show you that's really funny. There I am in my Dallas Cowboys t-shirt. Anyway, um, this is what I took off of the floor so I could film for y'all. Um, I just think it's important to show that what looks perfect and spotless in this shot is because I moved all of that. So anyway, that's mom life for you. Just keeping it real. Um, and then over here is my little table um, that I keep next to my chair. And this is an arrangement that I did last year. Laundry. Um, this is the arrangement I made last year. It's on my to-do list to go in. You can still see like the foam, the floral foam. And so I'm gonna go through and like kind of plug um, that with some other things and kind of redo it. It was in the basement, it kind of had a rough go coming come back up. But anyway, um, it just fits nicely here because it's not a really high arrangement and it just kind of fills that space. There are 110 days till Christmas. I keep this here all year and that's accurate. I actually just changed it so it would be accurate for the video because I always forget to change it every day. Okay, so that's kind of our living room space and I'll take you over to the other table. Hang on. Okay, so this is the back table, um, the back sofa table. It's behind my sofa. And um, just it looks, we look into the living room. And these are the pictures that are normally on that table over there. Um, but since the garland's up, I really wanted to be able to see that better. So um, I just moved them to 
this table and I think it looks really cute. These little signs I just got from Hobby Lobby and one I love the anything that's like vintage or um, I don't know just kind of a vintage feel I absolutely love so happy harvest is that one and then give thanks is that one so I thought they were really cute I they kind of they're kind of hidden on the table right now but I think it's cute oh I meant to tell everyone I posted a picture where this was in this rocking horse was in the picture and on Facebook everyone to know that is from Hobby Lobby it was on clearance um last month and it's sturdy and it looks like a vintage heirloom piece but um it's a new build and it's from hobby lobby and it was on clearance so my kids absolutely love that thing and even evie can still fit in the seat and she's six so it's a wide seat and anyway one of the best purchases i've made in a long time so i will show you the kitchen just a minute okay so just a few little quick things in my kitchen um this is the uh, Cinderella carriage that I found me and my friend oh screw it's perfect awesome um this might me and my friend Suzanne she was visiting um me the other I'll see a few weeks ago and uh we were running through Hobby Lobby getting something and this was like on the wrong shelf and I, I said oh my gosh and Suzanne she goes just get it just get it and so I picked it up and um took it through to the checkout and metal happened to be 50% off. So that was really, really lucky. So, you, I mean, if you know anything about me, I'm obsessed with Disney World and Dis anything Disney. So this was perfect for me. And I think it's so cute, it, even for um, one of the girls' rooms. Um, but it was marketed as fall decor. So anyway, just a little tidbit from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have, let's see, um, I added some red towels. Red is not a color I ever use like in my decorating, but um, I, I really like to pull in uh, colors that are not usually my norm. Like I usually like to pull those in like for holidays. Um, just I think that's fun. Um, so I just got these at Target the other day. Um, I'll come back around to that area. This little pumpkin um, my Nana gave to me and um, I just think it's so sweet. Bless our home and all who enter. Um, and so she gave me that. That was like, oh my gosh, when we got married. So like eight years ago. So I've had that a really long time. It's like a sturdy resin pumpkin. So I love that. I think of her every time I look at it. And then this um, is a little, okay. Yeah, I just gotta show you. We're, we're having to return something to Amazon that Evie bought. And so of course, like all the packaging is all over my counter. Oh, you know, just got to be authentic with you guys. Um, but anyway, this um, little thing came from Target. It's just a little boxwood um, seasonal plant. And then this is another one of my, oh, this is Yankee Candle Harvest. And then these lanterns came from Hobby Lobby. I got these a while ago, a couple months ago. Um, and they just kind of perch on the end of my bar counter. Um, and then again, in the essence of full disclosure, I just think it's important like for moms, especially just to show like, I don't know, just not to think that everything, cause this looks like relatively neat for me. Like this is a very like <laughs> neat looking kitchen. But if I pan down a little further, this is all the stuff that I've got to go through and, um, you know, put away and it all kind of lands on my bar stools and I have no idea why, but it's like, I want my counter to be clear because you know, that makes it look like everything's clean. But then I'm like, that's so stupid because then you look down and like, okay. Um, anyway, I just think it's important for moms to know that, I don't know, of course I like, I value a clean house and a straight house, but, um, in the essence of just being authentic, it just shows you that this is real life. So anyway, a little side note there, but um, over here, um, this is one of my favorite things that I recently got. It's a new little lamp and it um, it's a mason jar lamp, but you can um, change out like the, if this is just like a clear, um, like plastic insert. And so I ordered it from practically perfect crafts. I can link to her below, but, um, it says the second star to the right shines in the night for you and tells you that the dreams you plan really can come true. And of course the, that's the lyrics from the second star to the right from Peter Pan that I asked her to put in there. And then this is the shade. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like when you turn it off, sorry, this is the most random, this is not fall, but I gotta show you. Um, when you turn it off, it just looks like a normal lamp. But then when you turn it on, 
it's Disney magic. What can I say? So I had to have it and that just, you know, this is another little side note. Um, I just think your house should have things in it that reflect you and that whenever someone walks into your house, they should be like, oh, that is so Ashley or that's so, you know, whoever. And I don't know, it just, um, it brightens my day just to have things that, even the, as small as that, I don't know, that just like say who I am. I think it's important. Uh, this little angel is really cool because I got her, I got her from a local boutique. Um, and gosh, I got that like six, five years ago. And um, the cool thing is that celebrate. I don't know if I can do this one handed. Hang on. Of course I can't. But you pull, there we go. You take off the top and inside there are little seasonal charms that you can add um, to the front. It's just a little hook. So right now, of course, I have the pumpkin, but then there's like a little Christmas tree, a heart, a little star, and this one is double duty because look, there's a little American flag, 4th of July, a little Easter egg, um, a little cupcake for birthdays. So anyway, that, I, oh my gosh, like I love things where you like, it's one product, but then like you customize it to the season. I don't know why I love, and like anything miniature, I'm obsessed with anything miniature. So like this little miniature pumpkin, like, anyway, um, I just <laughs> love it so much. Anyway, um, and one of the things that I've noticed or I've seen, and I think I'm so late to this party, but the happy everything platter, um, where you like have little ceramic charms that you, or not charms, but like, you know, like little just ceramic, um, decorations that you put that you velcro to the top kind of the same principle and now I, I think I may ask for one of those for Christmas just I think that's so cute to collect charms anyway um, I think that's all that I have as far as fall goes but um, yeah that just kind of shows you I can walk back through to the yeah you know just real life there but yeah that's um Whoa, the lighting's weird. Okay. So there's my living room. There's my fall decorations. And I hope you guys, uh, this is kind of my first time showing the house um, in video. For, no, I think I've shown it maybe one other time. Like not whenever I was on YouTube, but I think maybe for my blog at one point. Um, I videoed and showed different parts of my house. But this kind of gives you an idea of how I do things seasonally. It, you know, I decorate with neutrals. Um, almost to a fault, but I really, you know, it's just what I'm drawn to. I just, it's very peaceful to me and it's easy. And of course you can see I accent with blue, love blue and white. I love the classic look of like ivories and beige with blue and white. So that's kind of, uh, what my go-to style is. But, um, then I always add in colored seasonal things so that, um, it's just, there I am. Hey, um, just so that it's festive and I think that's kind of fun also even for creating memories for my kids just to have oh I forgot the coffee table um here are um I just got these uh what am I saying I cannot even talk I just got these leaf candle holders that target obviously like I was having a fun time at target the other night but um I got these from target and I got obviously the candles were sold separately but I just put the white ones in and I have had this Jim Shore um, pumpkin my Nana gave me this as well and I love this one it says count your blessings and there's just all the way around the pumpkin there's fall scenes and I don't know if you're familiar with Jim Shore but he also has done like stuff for Disney and but it's like carved like it's carved into the pumpkin and um, that's not focusing, hang on. Um, it's just really intricate work that he does and it's just gorgeous. And um, so I'd like to collect a few more Jim Shore things, I think, but my Nana gave me a lot of Disney ones too. So I'll show you all that sometime. But um, anyway, I think this is a really good little grouping. And I don't know if y'all are interested in this, like, and I also will um, talk about this occasionally for the ministry I'm a part of called interior inspirations but um if y'all are ever interested in asking I mean that sounds so like if you want to ask me anything but you know what I mean um 
I did study interior design in college and it's something I've always really enjoyed, but um, the rule of threes, I was about to, that's the whole point of that, is that you always put odd numbers um, together. Unless you're doing something like real symmetrical, like this with, you know, it's intentional that I'm putting two lamps, two of the small, you know, two of the small ones. Like that's a symmetrical arrangement where it's intended to be equal on both sides. But if you're wanting like a grouping in the middle of your coffee table or something like that, it's just visually pleasing to the eye to have three different things or, you know, five. So that's just a little tidbit for you. I mean, that's probably like not even... I don't know, interesting to some people, but I, I love like talking about stuff like that. But um, anyway, if that's something that y'all would ever want to talk about some more, then I can share. I mean, I'm I obviously like I don't do it for a living, um, but I do help my friends here and again. And oh, I wanted to show you this is Evie's latest drawing. This is Anna. And then look, this is so cute. This is Anna. And this is Elsa. And it's just so cute because the snowflakes and her braid. Anyway, I just, I love, I leave stuff like that out just on the table because I think it's just precious. So anyway, that's my fall coffee table. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed showing you everything. And I will talk to you soon. Happy fall. Bye, guys.